Ligama le hice ni la embozana ni la moya lo nuele. Putula a Gubeguini. My brothers and sisters, this is the 26th Sunday of the ordinary time. And today at the beginning of the gospel, Jesus asked the elders of the people, What is your opinion? And he tells them a parable. Every time God talks to us, he also expects us to react. Sometimes we welcome his words with joy. Sometimes we struggle to accept it. Aware of our weaknesses, let us entrust ourselves to his merciful love. Lord Jesus, your word is a light for our path. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you never abandon us when we stray. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you reveal to us the will of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Agasi haogele kulun kulu somandla asite selele tonotetu asi ese kupileni kwa pagatse.
Let us pray. O God, who manifest your almighty power, above all by pardoning and showing mercy, bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us, and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasurers of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Sifundvo sitetwe enwazini yempolo feti hezekeli. Ishonjalo inkosi kutwa nine niti injela ya smagate aigalungi. Lalela ni geni nendlu ya ka Israel. Aigalungi yini injela ya mu. Nangawe umunfu lone bukotfo akutuga egulunge ni wake ende sono uya usifela. Uya ugufa ngenga yesono la sendile yena. Kotwa nangabe umunfu lomubi akutuga ebubini bake la bendile. Ende logu koto na logu lungile. Lowo uya usinzisa impilo yake. Ngenga yeguti atinage tonke tonotake labe satendile akutuga eguto. Lo wonge mbela uya kupila angege afe. Na lige livile nkose. Amen. Simagaze kumbula umusa wako. Simagaze kumbula umusa wako. Ngikombise tanja tako simagaze. Umifunzise imikonvo yako. Ngihambise ekliniswe ni lako ungifunzise. Ngoba wena ungungulungulu wensinziso yami. Simagate kumbula umusa wako. Simagate kumbula umusa wako nelutanvo luako. Ngobe wako vele kukona pagate. Unga tikumbuli tono tami netipambugo tebushabami. Kotwa ngikumbule ngekwe musa wako. Simagate ngikumbule ngegulunga wako. Simagate kumbula umusa wako. Simagate mule ulungile. Ngagoge ufunzisa doni inlela legungi yosibili. Labatwobegile ubaholela gulogulungile. Labatwoge Tobegile ubafunzisa injila yake. Simagaze kumbula umusa. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Philippians. If our life in Christ means anything to you, if love can persuade all at all, or the spirit that we have in common, or any tenderness and sympathy, then be united in your convictions and united in your love, with a common purpose and a common mind. That is the one thing which would make me completely happy. There must be no competition among you, no conceit, but everybody is to be self-effacing. Always consider the other person to be better than yourself, so that nobody thinks of his own interest first, but everybody thinks of other people's interest instead. In your minds, you must be the same as Christ Jesus. His state was divine. 
Yet he did not cling to his equality with God, but emptied himself to assume the condition of a slave, and became as men are, and being as all men are, he was humbler, yet even to accepting death, death on the cross. But God raised him and gave him the name which is above all other names, so that all beings in heavens, on earth, and in the underworld should bend the knee at the name of Jesus, and that every tongue should acclaim Jesus Christ as Lord, to the glory of God the Father, the word of the Lord. Thanks. If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and shall we come to him. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Go leso sikati cheso akulu magba priesti laba kulu ne malunga eban vuatsi. Ge panzi ni ge mundvuatsi tabe ne matvuatsi na la mabili. Wa ya gu gu le ye gu kala we figa vuatsi msawami. Hamba uye usebenda esi vini ni lamu usha. Ya penvula ya tiyebo babe, nda uguya. Gepa, yange teya ya. Wase uya gulelenye wa shona guyo. Ya penvula ya ti, angfuni. Kotwa emva kwa loko ya kabama. Ya se ya penvula, ya ya. Ngumu pige mkatisini wa bobo babili. Lo wenda insan foye yise. Ba penvu la bati mulo na wesibili. Wase uti nkinsile ngitigini. Batelisi. Neti ngwaza. Neti pingi. Bayane ngelela embuswe nwangulungulu. Ngobe johane weta gini ngelela egulunga. Anzange ni mkolwe. Gepa batelisi neti ngwaza. Neti pingi, tamu kolwa. Kutwa nine, nome senbone logo, ani zangen penvuge, uten kolwe. Nalige, divangen la kristu. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Again, we are gathered today to reflect on God's will based on the readings of today. What is it that God wants to see his people doing? The prophet Ezekiel in the first reading tells us that which God wants us to do. God wants us to be like him in holiness. How? By the renunciation of our sins and turning back to him. He who is the life giver, life giver here on earth and in the life to come in heaven. Turning back to him by renouncing our sins because sin kills, by sin one dies. Sin kills the soul, the soul, the hands, no life after the first death. Sin is death. Well, according to human instinct, man fears death. When he senses that death might be approaching, he wants to run away. 
For an example, when a black mamba appears, if it can appear here amongst us, the first, react, the first reaction of a human being is to take off to his heels. Or maybe a car is making a straight approach, approach to, to him, to a man. He would rather prefer to stand in the bushes than to be knocked off by the car. Man fears death, but amazingly, man does not fear sin. As we have said, that sin is death, and logically, it must follow that man must run away from death, from sin. But the evil one has broken that logic, distorted that logic. Instead, man enjoys sin, invites sin, chases after sin, and can remain in sin as long as he like and he feels comfortable in it. This is proven by what we usually hear sometimes from people saying that I cannot forgive, I cannot talk to so and so because he or she has hurt me, whereas by so doing one has allowed the comfort of sin to overshadow him, one has allowed his sin to rule him, which is against the will of God. Most of the time, this is, an, this is as a result of what we have resolved in our minds. We decide to stay in sin. We choose to remain in sin. It is as a result of what we have thought. Whereas St. Paul in the second reading reminds us that in our minds, we must be the same as Christ Jesus. Think holy. Act holy, speak holy, stay holy. And by so doing, we would have eliminated sin in our lives by imitating Christ with our minds. Him who was human like us, yet sinless. If we want to live with him in heaven, we need to renounce sin. Him who was obedient in doing the will of the Father, Hence, we too ought to, be, to obey the Father's words. We have just heard from the first reading, renounce your sins and live. Christ, whom I doubt imitated neither of the two sons we have heard about in the gospel reading, Christ, we know that he said yes once to the we love the Father when he came here on earth to die for our sins. He tells us the parable of a son whom his father sends to work and the son says he will work but at the end he doesn't. And the other say, says he won't work but at the end he does work. These sons, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, are an example of ourselves. We say yes to God's will by our lips. And we do the opposite. The church has given us a formula of renouncing our sins every time we begin the celebration of the Eucharist. We do say, I confess. However, those words which we say have become a poem. We just recite them without thoroughly digesting the meaning of the words we are saying. We receive Holy Communion. And we go back home and stay comfortably in the enmity of our brothers and sisters and our, and our neighbors. Yet, we have received the Christ and we have confessed, we have said, we renounce our sins. We say yes, meaning no. Our words are yes, our actions are no. 
However, the disciples, the disciples reply to Jesus' question suggests to us that it is better to say no, but at the end manifest a yes. Tax collectors, prostitutes, adulterers have said no uh, by their actions, but they have made up their minds and said yes inwardly in doing God's will. Conversion. That is why Christ says that they have overtaken many of us who have said yes, meaning no. We Christians, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, ought to imitate Christ and Mary, who said yes once and did exactly that which God called them to do. Let us now stand and profess together our faith as we say Dia Kolwa Kunkulunkulu Uise Somandla Undali Welizulu Nemklava Dia Kolwa Naku Jesu Cristo in Bonsana Yake Le Yodwa in Cosiyetu Loveta Gemandla Amoya Lotuele Patalwa in Tommi Lentuele Maria Guadalupe na cupusa Poncio Pilato, Guabetela e Pan Manuel, Guafa Guanajua, Guaya e Sicuweni, il suculo e citato Guabuga cula va file, Guenjugela e Sului, Ucleticona che se cunene San Colunculo, Guise Somandra, Guiaubuia te questulela la va secona na la va file. Che a collo a comoia lo tuele, ne se vadreni le lituele, le li cattolica, ne cuflangana qua la vatuele. Che a collo a e cose se lo eni quel tono, ne cufugeni quel timba, ne cupileni qua nini la nini. Amen. As we continue to go through the COVID-19 pandemic, let us entrust ourselves, let us entrust the whole world to God's merciful love. May he be our hope, our strength, and the wisdom that we need as we take daily decisions in the fight of COVID-19. Almighty and merciful Father, who show your love to all your creation, we come before you asking for a quick control of the coronavirus currently ravaging our world. Hear graciously the prayers we make for those affected by the virus in various parts of the world. Grant healing to the sick, eternal life to the dead, and consolation to the bereaved families. We pray that an effective medicine to combat the sickness be speedily found. We pray for the relevant governments and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. Look upon us in your mercy and forgive us our failings. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. You may be seated. Oh,
Mine la bachle in cosini tandasani cuzzi se tu lo sa mine senu samu gale con gulunculu ui se somandla. Grant us, O oh merciful Father, that this our offering may find acceptance with you, and that through it the wellspring of all blessing be laid open before us, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy 
to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Si tandasa gagne gagne un collega ucceso a si fondi sa buona si si va be vuoto lo se sulvini libito l'acqua all'ipaco e incontuele un busto uanco a ote in santo iaco ai antigue la beni tenga se sulvini si be la mucla cinco a setu seti in su suo o si te celele tono te cinco banazzi si va se celela la basonaco un gassi si e colinguini, codua o si stanze e culo cubi. Se sensesse si a contengan così cucocon che lo cubi, o si penghe musa a cutula culetti in su cutetto. Cute cuzze e quelle che lello a si ha o sacco, si culo leghe in giallo e tonueni, si pepe e nasce di pizzi pizzini tonche. Gengobe si lenzele li zemba e li tocco di sacco, le cubuia quam senza si vuoi tu Gesù Cristo. In così Gesù Cristo vuoi nello vazzi come apostoli bacco, cutula chi cucia ghini, cutula quami ghini niga cona, un ganaki in così tono te tu codua, ubuke cucolua quelli mandra l'acqua, e musa uaco, Uvume kulipa kutula nebunye jengobe ku insando yako. Wena lopila ubusa nini na nini. Kutula kwenkosi akube na ninjalo. Akume na ninjalo. Vana yan kulunkulu, guye lo susa tono temhlava, babo se siwe labo la babitiwe, isidlueni salem vana.
as you are unable to be physically present at the celebration of Mass, we invite you now to join us in this prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we may be co-heirs in glory with Christ, to whose suffering we are united whenever we proclaim his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Grateful for the presence of Father Muswani with us still at St. Mary's before being transferred to Constantine's and Constantine at the end of the month of October. And as he shared with us, may we, like Jesus and Mary, be able to say yes to the will of the Father and mean it also with our own lives. In cosi aibenani. 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 Uise in embozana na moya lontuele. Amen. Si tu niwe in goba si babadisiwe, ambani gekutula qua Cristo. Agapamone.